are these people? We all know this lady. She's she's phenomenal, and she doesn't get nearly enough shine. Vanessa Bealey, um, independent journalist, Indie Media Award honoree, class of 2022, the inaugural class. She wrote an article this week, and she writes articles a lot. Um, she's over at Substack, vanessabealey.substack.com. She also has a website, vanessabealey.com. I think it's like... Um, the wall will fall, or is that is that Eva's? I can't. I always get them confused. Eva Bartlett and Vanessa. Vanessa writes a piece here where wow. she actually she actually pulls from a Israeli piece in Hebrew, and then translates it into English to explain what the hell is going on. And wow, um, yeah. Gaza 2035, Netanyahu's dystopian vision for Gaza's future. So I saw a picture floating through my feed on notes, I think it was, that Vanessa had shared. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, look at this. So this is one of the photos that, let me back this out a little bit so you can see it in full. Um, it shows some cheeks standing in a parking lot of... Tesla, you got 80, pow 80 pounds of Tony Fauci merch in. Um, a lot of electric and luxury cars right there. With This it, is their AI vision really for... Needs, needs some perspective help on this photo. Jesus Christ. This is their vision for Gaza. Like the people are the same size as a building. Yeah. Like either that's a tiny building. I think it's, it's a model. Or I think it's a model. Very but large people. So, from crisis to prosperity. Yeah, but look, look at the cars. No, go, I, back, go back up. Go back up, weirdo. Look at the car. Look at the car. We got tiny little cars over there. It, like it's, just, Hot it's scale. They got like little tykes cars. I know it's scale. I'm just going to make fun of it because it's really bad. It, it is. Uh, yes, but it's also anyway, AI. Continue, I guess. From I know. Crisis to prosperity. Transformation of Gaza from an Iranian shrine to a moderate axis. This is the tagline of a recent Ynet article in Hebrew that reports on the Netanyahu administration examination of a dystopian vision of Gaza's future as a hideous Dubai Singapore style outpost of Zionist and US UK military and economic hegemony in West Asia. Okay. Previously, Ron Ben Yeshai had written for Ynet, quote, It is hard to imagine the Gaza Strip becoming the tiny and glittering country in East Asia, but it is the vision that Netanyahu is trying to advance behind the scenes. The idea? Complete detachment from Israel and connection to the world through a maritime corridor to Cyprus and a land crossing to Egypt Tens of billions of dollars to be spent on the restoration of destruction and tourism and high-tech ventures and civilian rule based on international bodies. These buds can be seen on the beach where a pier for humanitarian aid was erected, but it will take a lot of persuasion and execution erected, huh? efforts, execution efforts, namely of the remaining Palestinian people, to make the dream a reality. This reminds me of like SimCity 2000 on the computer. You remember like, like the buildings that had all the all the greenery up up the sides and shit. Mm -hmm. God, I can tell you're old. The the new reference is called City Skylines. Just go with that. Next time you want to make a Sim City reference, um. this is gross. <laughs> this is so gross. Yeah. I had to bring this because I didn't yeah. really see very many people bringing it yet. And I'll, I'm guessing President that President Trump incited an erection. Well, it took me a while he, to find the erection. He he can do that in in Cam Cam erection. sometimes. Um, <laughs> yes, it is hard. It is hard to imagine the burial of hundreds of thousands of Palestinian lives, bodies, dreams, hopes, and memories mm -hmm. under the rubble from which will spring these futuristic, soulless buildings that are designed to erase Arab culture, heritage, and history. 
Palestine will cease to exist in Gaza if this scheme is successful. And of course, we know that's the, the grand scheme of Netanyahu, the Likud party, and the hardliners in Israel. And not just the hardliners, but apparently a lot of the population. The, sus the suspicion no, that the... There's anything wrong with that. Yeah, right? Uh, there certainly is. The suspicion <laughs> that the so-called Gaza... Well... Not to that guy. Man, he got heckled to shit uh, last night, apparently, at a show. Oh, and... uh, yeah, block, block and then, Jerry. And then said that his wife was doing great work to help his shows out, which I thought was one way to handle it. Yeah. Um, the suspicion uh -huh. that the so-called Gaza humanitarian port that the U.S. was so eager to construct using building materials impregnated with Palestinian blood and remains was, will be nothing more than an yeah. element of the U.S. military and economic expansion into West Asia. Gaza will become a, quote, thriving green country with towers and business centers, not a terrorist incubator, says Wynette. Gaza could have been a thriving green country with its independent resource mining providing wealth and growth for the Palestinians and Israel not prevented gas exploration and besieged the enclave, ensuring its descent into a dusty, overcrowded, energy-deprived extermination camp. And then, oh yeah, there's this little thing about Modi being a genocider too. Yep, which we talked about. The threat of Iranian expansionism has been the long rolled out pretext for US, UK, and Zionist preemptive violence and destabilization in the region. Protectionism for the India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor, or IMEC, is, a, is paramount as it counters various China Iran Russia led initiatives in the region, including China's Belt and Road. Gaza must be captured as the central junction between the ancient trade routes, Egypt, Gaza, Babylon, and India, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Europe. For this reason alone, the Enjoy control. Now, anyone? Yep. I think we've reported on that before over on INA News. Um, for this reason alone, the control of this tiny strip of seaside territory is essential for the future survival of Israel and the alliance of Gulf states, Egypt and Jordan. Turkey may also be included, although Erdogan's recent rhetoric may suggest the opposite. It is not to be trusted. They always side with NATO. That's what Gaza looks like now. Uh-huh. That kind of looks like Lahaina, doesn't it, in a way? With all those bridges? I, mean, and the, I don't Where all the Richies live over here, yes. or Miami, you know, where, where you've got the A1A, and everyone lives by the sure. beach, and all the rich people live here, and all the poors live on the other side of 95? Mm -hmm. The plan was first presented to... that close to farms, though. Well, remember, you're talking only about a six mile wide by 25 mile long strip of land. Yeah. The plan was first presented yeah, to senior what, officials of the. Vineyards? <laughs> the plan was first presented yeah. to senior officials of the Netanyahu administration in December. Phase one the priority is to cleanse northern Gaza of Hamas. A plan which is until now successful. Oh. In the future, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Egypt, Bahrain, Jordan, and Mor Morocco will be given control of humanitarian aid entering the Gaza Strip, but only to safe areas. Of course, if you cross over those safe areas, you will be executed by IDF soldiers. Or IOF, whatever you choose to call them. Um... Selected Palestinians from Gaza will be given control of the concentration camp with the supervision of normalized Abraham Accord nations. And of course, those will be puppet mm -hmm. leaders that are installed that will be favorable to U.S. interests. Phase two, phase two will be that Israel... If to they be, aren't, they're going to start too. Right. Israel will maintain overall security oh. responsibility 
which means military rule, oppression, apartheid, and mass imprisonment, torture, and ritual abuse of Palestinians. Just like now, as our friend George Carlin <laughs> says. Arab states will create a multilateral body to oversee, guide, and fund the, quote, Gaza Rehabilitation Authority, unquote, a.k.a. the Reprogramming Indoctrination Committee. This might have come from the World Economic Forum because it certainly sounds this level of dystopian. Palestinians from Gaza will form the Rehabilitation Authority, which will manage the safe areas and ensure they are free of radical resistance ideology. Comparisons to the Marshall Plan are to be ridiculed when taken in the context of the protection and renaissance of Nazism under U.S.-U.K. protection in the West since the end of World War II. And then you've got your final phase. The selected Palestinians will govern areas of the Gaza enclave and will join the Abraham Accords. It's expected that the Nazi elements, quote-unquote, in Netanyahu's coalition regime will not support the, these plans, preferring the reestablishment of Zionist settlements and exclusive Zionist control. Smotrich and Benjvir will be the first to oppose any Palestinian rule in Gaza. And they're not going anywhere, unfortunately. This plan nope. secures the vision that was laid out in the Netanyahu Commission Clean Break Doctrine established in 1997. Israel's long-term security, integration in the region, economic expansion, normalization with Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states. This has been a plan in place for, more, for almost 30 years, folks, really. They're not letting it and or anything deterred at this point. And again, phase one is where they are continuing to cleanse northern Gaza and install a future multipolar government that's run by the Arab states that are part of the Abraham Accords. Now, this isn't guaranteed to happen because you have hardliners in Israel that are going to try to stop that from even happening and go even further. The U.S. will sell itself yeah. as the harbinger of stability in the region while it continues to fund the bombing of the Palestinian people and the cleansing. It will garner military Bring dominance. Him a concert on yep. a trip there. He'll play keep Bring on rocking play. the free world, gaslight the whole region. Yeah. It'll garner military dominance yeah. and the establishment of a trade corridor, the IMEC, that will bypass the, re the resistance access plans for trade dominance and the liberation of the global south from neo-colonialist resource theft agendas. Biden is he desperate. Played fortunate son in Ukraine. It would have been more accurate, right? Mm -hmm. but well, whatever. he could play. He could certainly play it in Israel too, since given who his stepfather is. Yeah. Um, Biden is desperate to find Ooh. a way out of his criminal role in the mass slaughter of Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank. Kinda, but not really. As improbable as this plan is to succeed, yeah. many, to find his way to the bathroom. Maybe many Americans might be fooled by the media spin on what is effectively building an empire on genocide again. We can't get fooled again. Yep. Which is kind of funny. Ooh, that's what? that's part of the title of the article that I published this week, and we we'll, we're going to show that at the end during our mm -hmm. quick hit segment. The UAE and Bahrain might perceive the, play, the plan as an opportunity to expand their influence in the region and to foster a defense alliance with the U.S. and Saudi Arabia and will gain access to the Mediterranean. So everybody's going to get a little something out of this. Mm, how nice. Egypt and Jordan will welcome the concept of de-radicalization of a sector of the resistance axis. Egypt has long used the threat of Hamas to seal the borders with Gaza, and to double down on the barbaric siege of one and a half million Palestinians, the majority of children inside the battered prison camp. I love how Vanessa doesn't mince words. Watch a video of Egyptian that's soldiers a, that's beating... That's a video we probably can't show. Yeah, we're not going to show that. Beating a young Gazan man who was trying to escape <laughs> Rafa to Egypt. 
I encourage everyone to go to Eva uh, to Vanessa's Substack again. It's Beely B E E L E Y dot Substack dot com. You'll be able to find this article pretty easily. He says, of course, Israel and the U.S. led cartel will also be slavering over this project as a potential intervention plan in other countries within the resistance axis, Syria, Yemen, Lebanon. Their intention is to win over the countries resistant to Western imperialism with the poison chalice of controlled development, post-Western proxy, and direct destabilization and devastation of these countries. Projects which have left people food insecure, impoverished, and without access to essential resources. By the way, Vanessa lives in Damascus, so this is very personal to her. She lives in Syria. It should come as no surprise that the eradication of the regional history and culture and the reprogramming of entire peoples will be in their playbook. It's partly why Israel destroyed every museum and every house of worship in Gaza. And every university. Tantalizing incentives will be dangled in front of people who have been starved, bombed, deprived, and terrified on a 24-7 basis. Free trade zones in Gaza al-Arish Sinai. Trade with Europe and the U.S. The, the U.S. and Gulf states. Rail links, energy, and regional infrastructure development. However, will the Palestinians will be allowed to leave their safe areas? Or will they continue to live in militarized and segregated ghettos? Albeit maybe slightly nicer. Find out next time on... The worst story ever told. What? The development of the Gaza gas reservoirs uh, will finally happen, but will be of no benefit to Palestinians, of course. Solar fields in the Sinai will provide energy for regional desalinization uh, facilities. After years of Israel bombing and destroying Gaza's desalination capabilities and depriving Gaza of the energy to run the plants, of course. EVs can be manufactured in the northern Gaza Strip. What? Factories will be established in these areas and in the occupied territories neighboring Gaza. <laughs> Slave labor, anyone? Raw materials will come from yep. Saudi Arabia and the, and the Emiratis. Yes. Cars coming off the production line will be shipped to Europe from the port at Al-Arish. They have an entire plan. Holy shit. Again, quoting from the piece, the rebuilding of Gaza will require raw materials and services from the Gulf states, which will create for them demand and opportunities for foreign investment. They're bringing the private business in. And look at how they lay it out that everybody gets to participate, including the part, the population of Gaza themselves. Amazing. Mm -hmm. A win, 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 Only win, win, like win. Laborers, practically. Right. Is this the idea of a Palestinian state? Probably, according to the New York Times on the 6th of May, quote, Emirati and Saudi officials and analysts said the new proposal would not secure the involvement of Arab states like Saudi Arabia and the UAE, particularly because it stopped short of guaranteeing Palestinian sovereignty and would permit continued military, Israeli military operations inside Gaza. The Saudi government has said mm -hmm. it will not normalize ties with Israel unless Israeli leaders take irrevocable steps toward creating a Palestinian state which we know are, will never happen. However, the New York Times, fuck those propagandists, goes on to say, quote, still the proposal is the most detailed plan for post-war Gaza that Israeli officials are have known to have discussed, and parts of it align with ideas articulated by Arab leaders in both public and in private, unquote. Well, military sounds like the Beastie Boys album we never got. Yeah. Regional businessmen 
are promoting the idea, according to the New York Times, briefing officials from Arab and Western regimes, including the U.S., Egypt, the Kingdom of South America, of South Africa, no, of Saudi Arabia. Okay, we're going to have to edit that one. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and UAE. It has also been oh, shown to, it in. to none other than war criminal Tony Blair, who works in an advisory capacity for the Saudi regime on modernization, quote-unquote, projects. Allegedly, a Palestinian businessman is also promoting the idea to American officials. I just, mm. I just, I just hope it's not one entertainer that we that we know who, who hasn't said a word about his people, and and had to be carried on stage so that his sneakers didn't get dirty. Congratulations, you played yourself. Another one. Yeah, that guy. Fuck him. There were a lot of denials being given to the Times mm -hmm. in response to questions as, their, as to their awareness and approval of the Zionist U.S. plans, but I would take these with a very large pinch of political salt. The UAE is pushing a two-state solution, which has never been anything but a conflict resolution mirage, and which is now impossible to achieve with the increase of settlements in the occupied territories and the genocidal campaign in Gaza. What is certain is that this plan has been in the Zionist U.S. pipeline for perhaps decades and is now only being put into effect with the exploitation of events from October 7th by Israel to secure the Nakba II in Gaza and to increase the Zionist footprint in what remains of Palestine and the occupied territories. Will it succeed with the rise against the rise of the East and the increased unity? Unity! of the resistance axis impervious to Western Zionist sectarian divide and rule machinations. Unity. It will be a war to secure the regional heritage and cultural identity against a dystopian future of invisibility and eradication of all that is precious to the people of the region. I believe it will be won by an increasingly... Go ahead. That sounds like the actual words to the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Invisibility and eradication. Of all that is precious to people of the region. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe it will be won by an increasingly powerful and united resistance axis and non aligned alliance, but not without cost and sacrifice. Please do watch this video by Maher Musali, who, which is our faith is stronger than your bombs. And again, I cannot show this on YouTube. As the Venezuelan ambassador, he, Jose Biomorgi, said at the Future of the Region conference in Damascus on April 9th, we, the resistance axis, must never underestimate the neo-colonialist bloc, their cohesion, and their tremendous resources. Paraphrased. At the same conference, iconic Syrian Catholic priest Hare Elias Zalahawi, Zalawi, a profoundly spiritual and humble man, told Vanessa herself that the terrible sacrifice made by the Palestinian people will awaken the world and bring about huge tra transformation for humanity. We are at crossroad. We are at a crossroads, and the West is fighting for survival. This is when it's at its most dangerous and Machiavellian. And please, of course, do consider subscribing to Vanessa's Substack, of which I am a paid subscriber because we support independent media. And you can see I commented and said she's the best. And a bunch of people like that, including Vanessa herself. Friend of the show, friend of the network, friend of Misty, friend of all of ours. Again, we don't have enough independent journalists that tell it like it is and give us the scoop before everybody else does. Vanessa is one of those people that does not get nearly, nearly enough light on what she does. This, by the way, is the Ynet article that she was quoting. You can see it's in Hebrew. And I believe I can do a little translate here. No, maybe not. Uh, my other, uh, my Brave browser automatically offered me the ability to translate this. But it pretty much lays out what she lays out. You can see this is how, you know, where they're starting to move 
stuff, but there was nothing really new in here. So I just wanted to point out that they only published right. this article in Hebrew. Why? So you have to read it with a little stick. You know what I mean? A little pointer stick. That's only the Torah. The That's the you Torah, like... you dumbass. So that you're not supposed <laughs> to touch it with your hands. You don't read every book with a stick. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Friend of the show, That's Lee funny. Camp, says, Boy, nothing screams, we're trying to rescue the hostages, like posting your plans for completely destroying and replacing Gaza. The below image is the plan from Netanyahu's office, but yeah, it's just the hostages. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is gross. Hitler had a vision as well. He called it Germania. The world said no to him and will say no to is not real. But the difference is, is Germany didn't have the U.S. behind it, and Israel does. Love, love to everybody that can help. If you can't, if you can't help, totally understand. Watch, enjoy the content, share it, please, so that other people see it. Um, just like Kit, you know, if you can pick up a monthly subscription, awesome. You can one time pay us and hook us up with some some cash. Amazing, really appreciate it. But we do this, and we we make all our content available for free. Everything we do. So uh, love y'all. Support independent media. We need it more than ever. Thank you. I love you. And I will see you soon. Yeah. Bye. Have a great time.